We are learning more about why some people might get very sick from COVID-19 and others don't have any symptoms at all. Health reporter Haley Hernandez explains the new risk factors that you need to know about. As more people get COVID-19, researchers are using that data to learn more about the virus. And we are seeing that more men are getting sick and also that blood type might make a difference too. Clinically, it's very hard to predict who's going to just get, you know, like a very mild illness and who's going to end up in the ICU in a ventilator. While it is hard to predict, the cases so far have been giving us clues about blood types. We've always uh, sort of saw this relationship between blood types and COVID, and this is the first data that shows that there's maybe some relationship to uh, the immune system and the genetic determinants of your immune response. They've found people with type A have a higher risk of getting COVID and type O are associated with a lower risk. But doctors warn this is not the only factor. By no means should you be feeling extra paranoid because you have an A blood type or extra nonchalant because you have an O one. Uh, this is one piece of the puzzle, but not the driver of who gets sick. Another piece of the puzzle, your gender. Data from around the world shows men may face a greater risk of severe COVID illness. In China, three out of four hospitalized patients were male. And in Italy, 82% of ICU patients were men. One possible reason, male hormones such as testosterone appear to boost the virus's ability to get inside cells. I see a future where we could be tapping your genes as you come into the hospital to see if you're going to do uh, poorly or not. There's also research that shows minorities tend to be more likely to get COVID-19 and suffer severe side effects. It's not necessarily a genetic factor, but possibly a social one. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.